All right, this is so dumb, but hey, I refound this buffalo nickel. Remember the, the the old nickel spill in the last video? Yeah, I got home, I couldn't find this. But I think what happened is I put it in my pocket, <laughs> and then I thought, well, I should have a granola bar. Yeah, I think it came out on the ground. Boom. Oh, I never lose treasures. That was bugging me. I'm glad it's back to a good home. All right, refound twice. <laughs> All right, I think I got a good one here. This is a 1213. Dug way down. Look at that, a legitimate buffalo. Well, I don't know, maybe the other one can actually tell. <laughs> can you just lose it and then refind it? Ah. All right. So then get a date. So, somebody's definitely stripped the silver out of here. They left me all the sweet old nickels. Yeah, I just don't really have a date on that. I mean, I think it says 1916, maybe? That is not in good shape. But hey, buffalo. Hey, looks like I got me kind of a cool relic here. I don't know what it is for sure. Yeah. I kinda think. Yeah, I don't know. My best guess is that it's a either a top to a watch. I was gonna say part of a Boy Scout slide, but it just doesn't seem quite big enough. I don't know, what do you guys think it is? I can hang on to it. <laughs> right, this one's giving me a weird sound. It's giving me a 23 in the knocks. I think it's going to be a weedy. Nice. A wheat. Back to my buffalo. So, like I say, this park's pretty much stripped. I'm just in here really just kind of looking for gold and old nickels and things like that. It's like a 35D. Anyways, look at all the goodies someone left me. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, I couldn't find that. <laughs> it's amazing how many times I do that. Alright, so I think this might be my first piece of clad out of here tonight. I mean, this park doesn't get used very much. This park doesn't get used very much anymore, but you can see there's some old stuff in here, so... Anyways, I'm happy with the old stuff. I'm just digging mostly pole taps, but that's okay because uh, I really like going for gold rings, so hopefully we can get some gold tonight. Another nickel, relic, token. Yeah, any of that would be sweet. Alright, let's see what we got. Well, I got some little electric bar or, I don't know, a wire spool, something. See that kind of thin wire on there? What the heck is that? That'd be nice. Throw me a comment. Well, I had a little more hope that that would be silver or something, but hey, look at that. We got ourselves a quarter. What are we up to now? Like probably 26 cents some clad. Nice. Penny. Penny. All right. I have a good one here. This is coming up at 10. Oh, come on. Be something good. Something good. Yeah. It's looking pretty nice. Whoa. Is that going to be white gold? Or just stainless? Alright, let me see if there's a mark. Hold on. Okay, 
I can see a mark in there. I can't read it. I really think this is going to be white gold. But, I'll have to get back to you. Alright, I still got like another 10 minutes. Let's just keep hunting. I don't know what that is. It's kind of... It's kind of a decorative little piece. I don't know. Like a snap? I don't know what it is. Okay, so... It does have a mark in there, but the mark is half wore off. Looks like it's been resized. It kind of seems like it had someone's name in it. To me, it looks like UIA, but like I say, it's really wore off. So anyways, here we go. Acid test. I'm pretty sure this is white gold. You know, who would resize a stainless steel ring? I don't know. Okay. Well, looks like it's passing 10K. So notoriously, usually this uh, stainless will pass all the way up to 22K. So let's see what happens here. Looks like it's passing 14. Uh, maybe it is going to be stainless. Okay, here we go. If it passes the 18, then I'm pretty sure it's stainless. Oh, look at that. Doesn't pass 18. Okay. So I'm pretty confident. This is going to be a 14K white gold. All right, let's do a little weigh in here. Oh, yeah, and it's heavy. Let's make sure that's teared out good. Yeah, stainless isn't that heavy either. All right, boom, look at that. Persistence pays off. Go dig the junk tones, guys, and get all the good stuff.